Who's hot? Who not? Tell me who rock? Who sell out in the stores? You tell me who flop? Who cop the blue drop? Who jewels got blocks? Who mostly go shit down to the blue drop? The same old pimp. Mace, you know ain't nothing changed but my limp. Can't stop till I see my name on the blimp. Guarantee Monday, y'all, is three, well, yeah, three days left in the year. Y'all, I'm about to shake and bake, jangling, all that. And do what I gotta do to make sure that I make this year end up on a very, very good note. So, um, happy Monday, you know, this week, technically this week itself is not sure, but I'm just cutting this week from December 28th to December 31st. And then the first technically in my mind starts another week just cause it's another year and everything. I'm about to, um, get my vlog together from yesterday and upload it. So I just want to give y'all a few reminders just in case you don't follow me on Twitter or anything else so first of all if you don't follow me on twitter i highly highly recommend it right now twitter seems to be my main form of or my yeah basically my main form of communication to you all i'm constantly up there or i'm constantly on twitter updating my goals and just different things that are coming new to my channel um i will start snapping more i'm getting in the process of where snapchat Snapchat is more for my subscribers than it is my friends because I don't really talk on there to my, not, well, not my friends, the people I really follow. So, um, I will start, um, whatchamacallit, I will start snapping more because I know y'all rather see that sometimes too. But just so y'all know, I'm trying to figure out when I should do vlogs. Do y'all want me to do Monday through Friday vlogs? Tuesday, Thursday vlogs or Monday, Wednesday, Friday vlogs. I'm just trying to figure out what y'all want to see because I don't mind daily vlogging, but y'all know most of the time, not most, but let's just say 55% of the time, I'm not really doing anything. Are y'all still interested in that? Or, you know, let me know. Um, and yeah, and then I think the next thing I wanted to tell y'all is to start commenting more. I realize that a lot of people won't comment under my videos. Don't be shy. We're all friends here. But they'll go and like DM me or hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat. Y'all, don't be shy. And trust me, if somebody come for you, I'm going to come for their little lives too. But <laughs> So I'm about to get the vlog together and then get my patootie on Craigslist. Um, Kendall went to work today. And I'm off of work today, sadly, because I'd rather go to work and make money than to just sit here. But um, I'm about to get my patootie on Craigslist and try to find some great um, options for us and then call them. And if they see everything seems good, when Kendall gets off of work, that's what we're going to go do because I got we got to get out of here. Like, do y'all see that over there? That's my stuff. Like, it's just it's too much clutter like over here too much clutter and y'all know I'm a pretty neat person like if you watch my old vlogs from when I was in my own apartment y'all saw that I was constantly cleaning every flipping day so yeah so hey y'all okay so I've uploaded my vlog hoorah for that and I've been looking in on Craigslist all morning it is 11 19 so I've been up for about two and a half three hours and basically, I found someone that's um, subleasing their, whatchamacallit, their campus housing. So, it's almost like the neighborhood that I used to live in, but it's not the same neighborhood. This one is a little bit better. So, they're in a three-bedroom, but they're in a three-bedroom by themselves. And my thing is, I'd rather not live with anybody, to be very honest, but... If I had the opportunity to live in an apartment by myself for some time before they add somebody else and the chances that they might add somebody is kind of slim. I mean, I'm not too sure because the spring semester is about to start. So there is a chance. But if I'm in there first, that'd be fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm talking to the person now and then I'm going to try and see if after when Kendall gets off, if we can go there and check it out because I really want to see what's happening in there. And yeah, so I was just watching my girl Army Barbie, um, 
um, Q&A, and I love her channel, y'all. Please do check out her channel. She's an amazing YouTuber. Like, if you like my channel, you'll most definitely love her channel. And one thing that she was talking about was YouTube fakeness. And I also got a question on this when I did, uh, or not a question, a statement on this when I did my um, YouTube sisterhood thing. And somebody has said something along the lines of, there's a lot of fakeness on YouTube. And I didn't address it in the comments because I wanted to make a separate video. But you know, I'm not going to make a separate video dedicated to YouTube drama. I'm just talk about it in my vlog. So I'm not going to lie. There is. So before I really got serious on YouTube, I didn't know that there were there was drama on YouTube. I didn't, I couldn't even possibly think about it. But now that I'm more serious in YouTube and I've met so many YouTubers, I have seen fakeness a lot, not a lot, but I've come across some fakeness and some drama and some unnecessary stuff. First of all, y'all already know my motto, block and delete. Plain and simple. So me personally, if I come across somebody and they seem to have drama or they seem to be negative or anything along those lines, they're just going to get blocked and delete because I don't have time for nonsense. But there is a drama on YouTube and I don't understand why it is we don't root for one another. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people that just don't want to see people succeed and for what reasons, I'm not sure. You know, like... I, I don't understand. There are some people that will just attack people for no apparent reason. You know, like literally no apparent reason. And it's just like, why can't we just all go to the top together? You know what I'm saying? And there are so many small, small YouTube channels out there. I don't understand why we can't support one another. Why does it have to be, we have to push one person down to succeed? That's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? everybody's destined to succeed in life and whether you want to succeed is up to you. You know, I don't really feel like you have to put other people down to bring them up, but yeah, I just wanted to address that really fast because that is something that I have definitely noticed here on YouTube that I never knew before. So yeah. And I know some people want to know, like, is it negative? If it, is there drama unnecessarily come your way? Like, yeah, let me put that in better terms. Do you have to be in drama? No, you don't. You don't. You don't have to be in drama. You you just know how to handle yourself in these situations. And yeah, now I'm just rambling. But I just thought I should address that. Okay, just an update. I was on Craigslist and I found this place. Okay, I'm not going to grab my phone. I found this place where it's a one bedroom. And then it says... Um, Free, if you move in before December or you move in by December 31st, you get free January rent. And then it says free February. But when I just called the guy, he said $500 off February's rent. Still a good thing. So I'm going to wait until Kendall comes here. And then we are going to go check it out. Number one, he has my car. So yeah. And then also, they are doing co-signers. And then the security deposit is only $100 only a hundred dollars and the admin fee is free so or is waived so that's perfect because technically meaning by me moving in let's say if i wait till december 30th i'll only have to pay two days rent and then a security deposit let's see how much two days rent would be do 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 all right i'm doing the most so 31 times two so it's like $55 of rent. And then um, I just need $155 to move in. And then I wouldn't be paying any rent until February. So that that's a blessing. But then I just thought about it. It doesn't come with any cable furniture or anything like that. So I don't know, y'all. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Stuff off of just kind of done and everything like that. So I just wanted to at least get you in here and everything that we're going to come here and finish it is nice. Bathroom's big. Yep. This is the only bedroom. Yeah, it was all that. I thought it was a two bedroom. No. This is the uh, biggest bedroom I had in the whole property. This is bigger than our two bedrooms. I should try. We're going to look for the master side. Oh, okay. This is nice. Linen closet that I love. Yeah, nice walk-in closet over there. Yes, the closet is exactly the size I need. Hmm. <laughs> I like it.
Because people can knock on the window. Yeah. yeah. Just don't tell anybody where you live. <laughs> that's that's my whole thing. I'm just saying. Oh, I love the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I love so it. So basically, with the renovations that we're doing, mm -hmm. you get all brand new flooring, carpet, and vinyl, and everything. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the cabinetry. Um, these were replaced about five years ago. Mm -hmm. So extra. So we saw the apartment, as y'all just saw previously before this clip, and it was nice. Don't get me wrong, but. The price of it is it's good, but then when I think about it, by the time I add electricity, Wi-Fi, water to it, it can almost be around eleven hundred dollars. So, and it's just a one bedroom. Olive Garden flow with Lee Bay. So I got chicken alfredo with fried chicken. Kendall got chicken parm. Yum yum. We got our dessert to go. Kendall got apple pie and then I got tiramisu. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you've never had dessert at Olive Garden, I highly recommend the tiramisu. So I was watching um the Bells Plus One and their engagement um vlog and they were talking about well Uriah was talking about the point where you come to Olive Garden and they like change names on everything, try to make it sound Italian as hell, but <laughs> it's it's Olive Garden is like the most Americanized Italian place I've ever been. So what did they have on here? What was that called? Yeah. Fried apple crostata or something. She was the girl was like, it's apple pie. Nigga, we know it's apple pie, like chicken parmigiana. <laughs> Nigga, that's chicken parmigiana. Right, like it's gonna fry them down two chicken breasts and bring that. And then I got the um which we call it, the chicken alfredo with fried chicken, but basically they call it chicken alfredo frittata. Chicken alfredo. Da -da. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go check out this apartment that we think we're gonna like and yeah. So I have to talk fast because Kendall is playing some music in the background, but we went to see about two more other apartments and finally I talked to my mom and I've made the decision to just go back into campus housing until I get my coin up to the point where I need it to be. So and the campus housing will end in six months. So that gives me about six months for a place to live. So yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I will go back into campus housing and the lease would end July, somewhere along July. So, you know, that gives me time to step my coins up a little bit more and to get my coins to where I want them to be. And I just want to clarify because a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, some people were saying on my previous video, why don't I go apply for Section 8, y'all? I don't qualify for Section 8. Um, then again, I don't necessarily know all of Section 8's qualification, but I do make money. So I don't, you know, I have... I have several forms of um, income. I have my job, and then I also have YouTube, and then I have other forms of um, income. So I don't think I necessarily qualify for that, but yeah. So that's what I'm going to do, and then hopefully by July, you know, both both of us will have our coins up and then move into somewhere together. But in the meantime, y'all, I'm super, super, super excited to tell y'all this. So usually I don't like to speak on things until they're set in stone but y'all today i've been thinking for the longest that I, I knew i wanted to start my own business but i didn't want to be a typical female not that anything's wrong with that let me clarify that before i insult somebody i didn't want to be the person that sells weave or open up my own boutique because there's so many people that do that and you have to think about it you have to like literally fight for customers because think about how many people have hair companies and you have to send your product out and when you look at reviews, the only reason, the only type of reviews you can get is if the hair is good and if it's not, if it's affordable and if it's not, you know? So, I didn't want to do that. And now I finally came up with what I want to um, do in my business. And I think it goes so well with the type of person I am and what I mainly talk about on my YouTube channel. So, right now I'm trying to see if I can get it, get what I want to sell designed. So, yeah. But stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Good things are coming. Good things are coming. Nice menu. It's Broccoli, rice, and what is this? Baked chicken? Baked lemon pepper chicken. Baked lemon pepper chicken, though. So, hey, loves, I had to literally pause the game and go and take my night shower, finish up my goals for the day, make this bed over, and, you know, fold my laundry and everything. So, yeah. Um, today was a, I would consider it a successful day. Um, I was able to achieve my goals that I set early today, which is always great. Um... Although the apartment hunting got a little bit hectic and annoying, I didn't record like the whole thing where you saw us blown in the car and everything, but it was a it was a pretty stressful day. We were out all day and yeah. So now that I know exactly what I'm going to do, it's a little bit better. So probably by the end of this week, early next week, I'll be into the new apartment until July. So that's always great. So I just want to thank those of you that kept me in prayers. Um 
So, yeah, I'm about to do all this, get back on the game until it's time to go to sleep. And, yeah, so I just wanted to say good night and thank you so much for watching another day with me. And um, I hope you're setting your goals and achieving them or trying your hard to achieve them. And, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow.